Matter No. SCP-2274 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-2274 is to be kept within its box in Standard Secure Locker No. 56. Under no circumstances should any personnel directly view SCP-2274. No testing is permitted at this time. Description: SCP-2274 is a statue, 46 cm in height, made of metal of an indeterminate color. It depicts a humanoid figure, with a clearly defined torso and head and limbs that taper to points, without hands or feet, standing upright on a square base. Any human being who views SCP-2274 will halt all activity and assume a neutral standing position, staring fixedly at SCP-2274. These subjects cannot be persuaded to assume a seated or prone position, nor to have SCP-2274 leave their line of sight. Subjects seem incapable of autonomously performing any task other than remaining upright, including the basic requirements for living. If left alone, subjects will expire of dehydration. Subjects under the influence of SCP-2274 show extremely limited ability or willingness to communicate. They do not respond to questioning, unless asked one of two questions. When asked, what do you do, subjects invariably respond, I stand as he stands. When asked, what does he do, with reference to SCP-2274, subjects invariably respond, he stands because he must. Photographs and video footage of SCP-2274 have the same effect, as does viewing any portion of the object, whether in a photograph or directly. Viewing SCP-2274 in silhouette does not have any effect, nor does viewing the shape of the object while it is completely wrapped in cloth or paper. If the subject is forced to assume a seated or prone position, or if SCP-2274 is removed from a subject's line of sight, the subject will react violently, attacking whomever is instigating the change, until that person interviews SCP-2274 or is incapacitated. See Interview Log 2274-1. No supernatural strength or unusual speed have been observed in subjects during these outbursts. At present. No observed subjects have recovered from the effects of SCP-2274. Addendum 2274-1 The object was recovered from the home of Kerry in Texas on 2000 and when a friend who had gone over to have dinner dialed 911, stating that Mrs. was just standing there saying nothing except, I stand as he stands. Remaining on the line with the 911 operator, he tried to force her to turn towards him as they waited for first responders. She responded by delivering a blow that seemed to cause him to lose consciousness. He was later found under the influence of SCP-2274 alongside her. The police officers who responded to the call were found also under the effects of SCP-2274. This development led to widespread fear amongst the police force, which alerted Agent and led the Foundation to launch an investigation. After the loss of Mobile Task Force New-12, the object, along with a cardboard box in which it was contained, and two typed notes within the box, documents 2274-1 and 2274-2, was recovered by drone and brought to Site-19. Neither the box nor the notes have exhibited any anomalous properties. Addendum 2274-2 Personnel with Level 2 security clearance or higher may refer to documents 2274-1 and 2274-2, which were recovered along with SCP-2274. Carrie, I honest to God hate you. You know that? You don't know shit about what you're talking about. You don't understand art, and you will never be an artist. Fuck you. This is the piece you wanted. I promise you'll find it more interesting than the last few. I'll come by tomorrow to pick up my payment. I hope you enjoy it. Kisses. Illegible. To the Foundation. Since I know you'll get your grubby hands on my art, I might as well address you too. You disgust me. You don't look for meaning. You don't see beauty. You don't care about the why. You care about the how. Like it's a drug. You need it. I don't understand the obsession. Your dependence on the how makes you bloated. You are lazy. You don't think. You observe. You don't create. You define. You categorize. You sterilize. You sit around on your collective derivative ass all day and destroy meaning through analysis. 
So when you eventually do find my piece, this will be a fun one for you. For him, the why is the same as the how. He stands. He is his own. He is free of definition, and meaning does not burden him. It gives him strength. There is no more understanding to be had. You do not stand as he stands. You are not free. You will never be cool, and you will never understand true meaning. I weep for you. Interviewed D-1366 Interviewer Dr. Forward Interview concerning D-1366 witnessing another D-Class personnel attempt to remove SCP-2274 from containment. Subject had been unaware of SCP-2274's effects and attempted to interact with the personnel. Subject was unable to give a report for several days, as she was in a state of shock and was generally unresponsive. Begin log. Please state what you saw. Uh, shit, Doctor. Uh... I think? He sent me to get something from one of the lockers in that room way far in the back. He gave me these, uh, these pink rubber gloves to handle it. When did you become aware of D? Uh, well, the guard at the door smiled at me when he let me by, so I was thinking about that and it was kind of distracting, you know? So I almost ran into him, cause I wasn't looking where I was going. He was standing in the, uh, second row, three lockers down from where I was going. He was just standing there, in front of an open locker. Could you see what was in the locker? I think it was a cardboard box. He was staring into it. It was tall enough that I couldn't see what was inside. He was also, like, right in front of the locker, like, his forehead was touching the edges of the front. I could barely see around him at all. I'm not even sure that was really a box. There were some weird things here, you know? Maybe it just looked like a box but it was something else? I can assure you it was a box. Did you feel any particular need to see what was inside the locker? No, but you asked what I saw. I'm just doing my best, man. What happened next? He didn't turn or move. He acted like I wasn't there, you know? How did you react? I was a little scared. I thought he might be having a stroke or something, so I figured I could take the time to make sure he was okay, you know? I figured it was, like, my responsibility, almost. So I was like, hey, what are you doing? How did he respond? He, uh, D-1366 clears throat. He said, I stand as he stands. Really flatly, like, no emotion at all. How did you react to that? Well, I was kind of spooked, you know? He was just kind of acting all creepy. I wasn't sure what he meant, and I kind of thought he was fucking with me. So I went to turn around and… and what? And he attacked me. What exactly happened? Well, I grabbed him on the shoulder, and I turned him to face me. His eyes were really, really glassy. There was drool on his chin. He just stood there and looked at me for like a second. Then he roared. Roared? Yeah, roared. Not screamed, not shouted. Roared. Like, really loudly. It sounded like it was coming from way down in his gut, like someplace primal, you know? It felt like it was vibrating the entire building. It was really scary and weird. It didn't sound… Subject pauses. What? It didn't sound human. What happened next? He grabbed me by the throat and started choking me. My vision started to go blurry and I was thinking, this is it, you know? This is how I died. I was terrified. They always say you're supposed to feel really calm when you realize you're going to die, but I was really freaking out. Then what happened? The guard from the front of the room appeared at the other end of the row. He must have come investigating the roar. He pulled the other guy off of me. Then what? Then he shot him. Subject is silent. Do you remember anything after that? No, I passed out. I don't really remember much at all since then. I'm sorry if there's something important I forgot, it's just a lot, you know? I understand. I keep seeing him in my mind, over and over, you know? Most of his head was gone when he died. What could make someone act like that? End log. Closing statement. D-1366 was given a Class C amnestic immediately following the interview. No long-term psychological impact has been observed.